I heard about a golfer once that was invited by a king of a country to come play golf with him. The king flew the jet over to America, picked up the golfer, and for three days they played golf together. True story. Had a great time. And on the way back to the airport, the king said to the golfer, it is customary of our country to present a gift to our guest, and you've been so kind to come over and play golf with me, and I've had a great time. Is there anything you want? The golfer said, no, don't worry about it. It's been my honor to come here and play golf. And the king insisted. He said, no, I insist. Tell me, is there anything you want? And so when the golfer saw that the king was not going to let up, he finally said, if you want to get me something, just get me a golf club. That'll be fine. The king said, done. The golfer got on the jet, flew back to the States, and for three weeks, he didn't hear anything. And so as you can imagine, he began to think, what's this golf club going to look like? It's taken him three weeks. I mean, and coming from a king of a country, is it going to be an eight iron that has diamonds all over it? Is it going to be a putter that is all gold? Is it a driver that has the king's signet? You know, coming from a king, it's probably going to be very special. And after three weeks, he gets a knock on the door. And it's a certified letter from the king of this country. And it reads, thank you for coming to our country. Thank you for playing golf with me. I had a great time. By the way, our country has just purchased 500 acres in America. Enjoy your golf club. Kings think on a different level than other people. And we serve the king of kings. And so many times when we hear everything that God has for us to experience and enjoy as born again believers, we approach it with an eight iron mentality. When God has 500 acres on his mind. I want to encourage you, think big, dream big, take the limits off of God. <laughs> <laughs> I just bounced off.